Hey guys, it's Grim. Uh, today we're going to do another part of, uh, of the tutorial series. Um, and today I'm going to set up a DHCP server on the Synology Disk Station. So, in order to do that, uh, we just, we've just we logged in into the uh, Synology Disk Station. And we go to the main menu, then we click on the control panel. And you can see that right here, I already did that. Uh, control panel, then you choose the DHCP server from it. Now you can see that my DHCP server is not enabled, so I can enable it up here. Um, I haven't done that yet, so we will do that later on. So why do you need a DHCP server? Um, so basically if you have a local area network, so you have a network in your own house, and you need to give all the devices, you need to give them IP addresses, then we need some sort of server that gives out the IP addresses to the devices. So in order to do that, um, we're gonna uh, enable the DHCP server and put the correct settings in. So right now we're gonna enable the DHCP server. And you see that it's, it's loading, so it takes some time. And if it's loaded, then we can edit all the settings. So if we just give it a minute. Great, so now it's loaded. Uh, you see that it's enabled on my LAN interface, so we're now going to click the edit button and you're going to see that um, the server itself is being enabled uh, with the specific settings that I have. Well, you can actually see that I did set up uh, the DHCP server with a lease time, so after this lease time, the client itself gets a new IP address uh, from my pool, which I've well, made up down here. So you can also see that I uh, did insert a primary DNS, which is my internet router uh, on the inside, the inside address. Uh, and the secondary DNS is the Google DNS. So uh, just 8844 or 8888. Uh, those are the two uh, Google DNSs that you can use. Your, uh, your own domain name, so I did put in test.nl. Uh, you can make that whatever you like. Um, I don't use the web proxy automatic discovery. Um, then you need to make a script for that. I don't want to. Uh, then again, I did add a, an IP range of between which the addresses will be uh, given to your client. So starting at uh, point 50 to uh, 250, all the, rest, the addresses in between can be given to one of your um, of your clients actually. So, and it is enabled for uh, the complete range is enabled for this DHCP server. You can always add a different range. Um, you can also add different options if you would like to uh, to give some options to your DHCP settings. Uh, perhaps uh, you can give it an empty MTU setting with it. Um, you can uh, do a different uh, NTP server uh, on it. Uh, it's whatever you like. I don't use that, um, but you can give any specific different um, IP address range in here. So if you want to have 25 to uh, 35 enabled as well, um, you just put it in, put the net mask in, which is uh, the same as your normal network. Uh, in my case, it's uh, it's uh, slash 24 uh, networks, 255, 255.255.0. Uh, and the gateway is my internet router in this case. So I will put that one in. If I click create, then you see that there's a, a second IP address range, uh, which can be used within this uh, DHCP server. It's disabled by default. You can also enable it and then use both the IP ranges in order to facilitate your DHCP settings. Okay, so then there is um, a tab with DHCP clients. You can just see whatever client is connected to your DHCP server. Um, um, there's nothing much there except that you can just really view who it is. Um, not what he's doing or anything, but you can break the connection if you like. So basically that's really it for DHP. Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to save this one. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. Um, then there is a vendor tab. 
I'm not using it probably uh, so no I'm not using it and I'm not sure what you can do with it but you can probably set some uh, DSP options for vendor well it says here for vendors so you can add a vendor and you can do uh, some values I, I don't use it so PXE you can create a, um, a pixie boot environment so pre boot execution environment if you would like for some devices to automatically start with uh, your DHCP server as well then you can create it with this I don't use that uh, it's not necessary in my um, situation if it is in your situation you can start using it uh, I'm not going to tackle this right now not in this subject it's probably going to do that sometime else um, if there's any specific request that you want to see how this works or you want me to uh, to make a video of it please put it in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible um, so if you like my videos and you think it's worthwhile to see just try to subscribe to my video my channel um, and like the video itself and uh, that will be appreciated so that's it for now thank you see you and see you in here next time bye bye